So today I'm going to show you how to do short staff one out of Paulus Hector Meyer's polearm section of its compendium at all. The way that we're going to hold weapons is with our thumbs inward. Uh, we do this for a couple of reasons. Um, one is because this triangle formed by your arms is very, very powerful. If I'm holding a weapon like this and someone strikes at it, like the strike card, it is very easy for my arm to collapse. If I'm holding the arm and defending and he doesn't defend, it is a much, much stabler platform and very, very hard to turn the enemy. The second reason for holding a weapon like this is it makes it easier to move in and hit with the back point. If I have my thumbs pointing in, I can just take a shot in very easily, and furthermore, if I'm in like this, I can defend any of these lines by just moving my weapon up and down. If I have my hands in a more baseball grip, and I take a shot in, I can only defend the lines that are up here because my arm doesn't twist down. Germans, more than anything else, want to get in and poke you in the face with something to So the start of the technique is we're going to have our right foot forward, our right arms forward, and we are going to be meeting in the strong position. The strong position means that if I were to take a blow at my opponent's weapon, it would slam the weapon into his hand. Weak would mean that if I took a blow into the opponent's weapon, it would tend to knock the weapon out of it. So, we're going to start by I'm going to move offline and take a thrust at my opponent's face. So it's going to be like this. Uh, we do that. That. Correct? Come a little bit more forward when you do that. Press the touch. Very good. Uh, the defender, of course, is going to do something about that. Try again. So when he does that, the defender is going to block by sweeping the weapon down, stepping in, and striking at the opponent's throat. The attacker does not like that very much. So what the attacker is going to do when the weapon sweeps down is he's going to sweep around and he's going to set up to take a shot at my face again. This is an important point for fighting with full arms no matter what you're doing. You want to be both defensive and have a threat at the same time. The reason for this is if you're not defensive, if I have my weapon down here, my opponent can just hit me. And if I'm not being offensive, that is, if I have a good block, my opponent is free to do whatever he likes. And I have to answer. If I'm being offensive, he has to think about what he does next. So, to continue onwards, my opponent makes a go in, I take a shot down and block. He is trying to take it into my face, which I do not like, so I step out and take a shot at his back of his head. Show that to you again. He blocks, I come down, I come in, I come up. So at this point in time, the attacker is in a world of hurting because it is very hard to block from here and it's certainly very hard to make any sort of offensive stats. So this is the time in a fight when it is, makes sense to, 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 to leave the area. One thing that fighters often have a problem with who have done other sorts of fighting before is that they retreat too much. Uh, here, you retreat when you absolutely have to, and this part of the play is that point in time. So, he takes a shot, I come in, he comes down, I come around, he takes a big step back, thrusts at me, sees if he gets the arm out, and now we can go for two. So, we're going to show that one more time. You're not doing perfect every time. So. Try one more time. Let's go a little bit slower. I know we want to get up the combat speed, but we also want to show our part here. Yeah, lock, off, off. And that's short step number one. 